Anthos is Google Cloud's new open platform that lets you run an app anywhere, simply, flexibly, and securely. With Anthos, we bring the cloud to you. As an enterprise, you need to move faster. The expected time to market for products and services has shortened dramatically from years to days. With the growth of mobile clients, you are now serving hundreds to billions of users concurrently, rather than making copies on disks. But today, you move at the speed of your slowest developer. Cloud is a way to put the pedal down. The cloud is wonderful for people who are building everything from scratch, but you might have decades of investment in your existing data centers. You're forced into making trade-offs, security versus agility, reliability versus cost, portability versus consistency. The news is you don't have to move to the cloud today. Moving to a microservices architecture, you can let each team work at the speed that suits them. Believe it or not, Google started out this way too, and we have a lot of investment in data centers. Changing the way we wrote our applications meant we could move quicker and scale out to more locations to serve our global customer base. Along the way, we pioneered a thing called a container. Containers are a way of bundling an application for deployment on a server. If you write software in something like Java, you might do this today. Instead of using an application server like Tomcat or WebSphere and bundling your application into a jar file, you build your application into a container and run it on a container runtime. Normally, an application server handles clustering, load balancing, and resource management for you. But that's only for applications on the JVM. Containers, on the other hand, run directly on an operating system kernel, meaning you can put any application in them. You don't need to have a different deployment system for apps written in different languages, or binaries versus things you've built from source. Now, you just need an application server to run these containers, and that's where Kubernetes comes in. Kubernetes deals with all the stuff that your application server worried about, and it does so in a declarative way. You tell it what you want to run, and it makes sure that you always have what you asked for. You could think of Kubernetes as the kernel of the new distributed application platform. As with all software, you need to install, manage, and operate your Kubernetes environment. You need to manage the nodes through things like kernel and operating system upgrades. The manual management of Kubernetes can be resource intensive. So, in 2015, we launched Google Kubernetes Engine in the cloud. GKE allows users to focus on clusters rather than administration. And now, people have come back and said, I want GKE, but in my data center. So we've taken it a step further. GKE on-prem is GKE running in your data center. It's managed by Google's world-class engineering team, but it runs on your own hardware, behind your firewall, and integrates with your existing networking, storage, and identity systems. You can build your own apps into containers. You can deploy any container image from a public repository, or you can deploy a variety of supported applications using the GCP marketplace. Whatever you want to do, GKE on-prem lets you deploy and scale in seconds, hundreds of times a day, and potentially increase resource utilization by up to 75%. Kubernetes alone isn't enough. It helps you run applications, but you still have to manage them. You need to handle identity and access management for those applications and debug your clusters when things go wrong. On top of that, your teams are looking at cloud and seeing the new serverless offerings. So Google has launched Anthos, a single platform for running wherever you are. Modernization journeys can be daunting, but with the power of open software, orchestration, and containerization, Google brings you the power to modernize, both on-premises as well as in the cloud, while moving at a pace you are comfortable with. To learn more about Kubernetes and GKE, please subscribe to our channel.